Tomorrow morning, I'm going to fly to Hollywood and do a test for a new network television show. What? Yep. Oh, that's fantastic. I knew it. Your own network talk show? No, not a talk show. Honey, I want to be an actor in a series. Is that wild? That's wild. Your own television series. No, not my own. <laughs> Anne Marsh. Anne Marsh? She's doing a television series. She must be to play her husband. She's fantastic. Yeah. You? My husband is going to play Anne Marsh's husband? <laughs> oh! <laughs> And I go for the test tomorrow. Tomorrow? When do you yeah. know if you get it? Uh, I don't know, a week or two, I suppose. Yeah, and then? And then move to Hollywood. Hey, Hollywood, here we go! <laughs> oh, babe! <laughs> and you won't even have to pack, honey. I'll just live in Hollywood during the week and come home on the weekends. Forget it! <laughs> right, right, I just did. <laughs> We're getting way ahead of ourselves here. Right now, all we should be talking about is the test. Right, of course. You think we could live in Bel Air? With a swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> okay, lady, this is it. The first stop on our tour of the movie oh, star's homes. I got the script. Oh, how is it? Oh, just be good. Get us out of Phoenix. I gotta get out, you know. I really have to get out. Yeah. Well, I'll try. I'll try. I was, aren't you excited? I am so excited that I could eat. I'll get you something to eat. No eating. He's got to learn the script for tomorrow. Come on, we'll go home. You can open up dinner. <laughs> Pick you up in the morning. Okay. Dick, be good. Pass that test, even if you have to cheat. Goodbye. Well, aren't you going to read it? I'm afraid to. Why? Well, um, what if it's no good? I'll be disappointed. And I want to do this. Oh, honey, I'm sure it's good. Well, that's what really bothers me. What if it's great and I'm lousy? Oh, there's no way you could be lousy. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Me, a movie star. <laughs> Welcome back to Ret TV. Today, we journey back to September 25th, 1971, and rediscover an episode of the new Dick Van Dyke show. In this installment, Dick Preston receives a Hollywood invitation for a screen test, a chance at becoming the star of a new TV show. As Dick readies himself, doubts about his star potential linger. Despite its short run, the new Dick Van Dyke show remains a hidden gem in the actor's repertoire. Join us in revisiting this moment in TV history. an alligator, uh, especially that one. Uh-huh, thank you. What's the matter with that alligator? It's undefeated. Oh. <laughs> Where's Dick? Boy, have I got news for him. Well, he's around here somewhere. What's your news? Think I've been a great manager up to now? No. <laughs> have I got something to tell you guys? You got something to tell me. Wait till you hear what I got to tell you. Are you ready? Do you know what I have in this bag? You wouldn't guess what I have in here in a million years. An old 78 recording, recording of, of Jack Jack Cena playing Bumble Bumble. Boogie. <laughs> The record store calls. You left your credit card. Oh, oh. You mean I've been looking for this name for 20 years? This is a collector's item. Well, my news is probably nothing much compared to that. What is it? Only that I got you a chance to say goodbye to Phoenix, fly to Hollywood, and star in a new television series. Are you serious? I wouldn't care about our future. You read where Ann Marsh is going into television? Ann Marsh? Is she doing a television series? Right, and she wants you to play her husband. <laughs> Me? Dick? Wow! Tomorrow morning, we're off to Hollywood. Hollywood? Me? <laughs> What's my brother to be her leading man? I think you've ruined your record. I can't believe it. They want me? 
Why would they want me? <laughs> me? Why would, she, why would she want me? Who am I? You know, they can't want me. Bernie, I'm not an actor. Not an actor? What do you think you do every day on your show? Talk. Oh, you're not even aware of your own talents. You don't even know your own abilities. You don't even realize your inner potential. <laughs> not an actor. Not only are you an actor, you're a great actor. How come I never heard of me? Oh, damn. <laughs> Everybody's heard of you. How'd they hear about him? He's got a manager, hasn't he? Well, I happened to be in the right place at the right time. Where were you? Sleeping on that couch when they called. <laughs> Just think, Dick. Of all the thousands of guests you've had on your show, Ann Marsh was the only one to recognize your true talent. You know, you're right, Mike. I, I kind of got the feeling then that she liked me. Oh, yes. Yeah. She was crazy about you. How do you like that, Vernon? I never thought of myself as an actor. I guess a star is always the last one to know, though. <laughs> I mean, you see it in me. Ann Marsh sees it in me. She must know. If darn right she knows. She's willing to pay all our expenses. <laughs> We're going to fly to Hollywood for a screen test. A screen test? Why do I have to take a test? Well, you know, everybody had to take a screen test. Yeah, you're a to get the part. Oh, my gosh, I've got to call Jenny. No, no, wait and tell her in person. Oh, well, tell her in person. I can't wait to see her face. <laughs> hey, I know what I'll do. I'll tell her when I tell the whole world on the television show today. <laughs> I already did that show. Uh, I'll tell her right into her face. That's... See you later, star. Hey, honey, this has been a day. Jenny? Yeah? Oh, honey, this has been one of those days. You... <laughs> honey? Oh, I'm here. Oh, what are you doing down here? The dumb dishwasher is leaking again. Well, you can forget about the leaky dishwasher. No more dishwashers for you. From now on, I'm going to buy you a machine that does the dishes for you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Come over here and sit down. I need a mess. I gotta... Take a look at it. It'll be the last mess you ever see. <laughs> Honey, tomorrow morning, I'm going to fly to Hollywood and do a test for a new network television show. What? Yep. Oh, that's fantastic. I knew it. Your own network talk show? No, not a talk show. Honey, I want to be an actor in a series. Is that wild? That's wild. Your own television series. No, not my own. <laughs> Anne Marsh. Anne Marsh? She's doing a television series. She must be to play her husband. She's fantastic. Yeah. You? My husband is going to play Anne Marsh's husband? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, And I go for the test tomorrow. Tomorrow. When do you yeah. know to get it? Uh, I don't know. A week or two, I suppose. Yeah, and then? And then move to Hollywood. Hey, Hollywood, here we go, <laughs> babe. And you won't even have to pack, honey. I'll just live in Hollywood during the week and come home on the weekends. Forget it. <laughs> right, right, I just did. <laughs> We're getting way ahead of ourselves here. Right now, all we should be talking about is the test. Right, of course. You think we could live in Bel Air? <laughs> With a swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> okay, lady, this is it. The first stop on our tour of the movie oh, stars' homes. I got the script. Oh, how is it? Oh, Dick, be good. Get us out of Phoenix. I gotta get out, you know. I really have to get out. Yeah. Well, I'll try. I'll try. I was, aren't you excited? I am so excited that I could eat. I'll get you something to eat. No eating. He's gotta learn the script for tomorrow. Come on, we'll go home. You can open up dinner. <laughs> I'll pick you up in the morning. Okay. Oh, Dick, be good. Pass that test, even if you have to cheat. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, aren't you going to read it? I'm afraid to. Why? Well, um, what if it's no good? I'll be disappointed. And I want to do this. Oh, honey, I'm sure it's good. Well, that's what really bothers me. What if it's great and I'm lousy? <laughs> oh, there's no way you could be lousy. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> me, a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> I've got everything here but your toothbrush. I couldn't find it. Oh, I put it in my jacket in case my mouth gets dry before I go on. <laughs> I have to be nervous. You're going to be marvelous. So I'm not nervous. I lost my memory. I knew the whole script last night. Now I can't think of a word. Where, where's what's his name? Bernie. We're going to miss the airplane. You've got plenty of time. <laughs> would you like me to go over the lines with you? Oh, honey, would you? Sure. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Where do you want to start? Uh, uh, start there, uh, scene 15. Where's this scene 15? Yeah, you play Anne. Right. Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. 
Clint, you honestly must feel something for me after all these years. I do, warmth and longing. Go ahead. <laughs> You're not being honest. You feel love. I couldn't feel as I do without knowing you share this feeling. Admit it, Clint. You feel it, you know it. I admit it, I know it, I feel it. Next. <laughs> Tell me what you feel. Describe it. Put it into words for me. It's honest, it's warm, it's good, and it's pure. It's on the next page. Candy, yeah, you're awful. Well, I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm memorizing. I'm not acting. No? Oh, hi. Just a minute. I'll ask him, but I can't promise. Daddy, will you talk to my girlfriend, Carrie? Talk to... Why? Because she wants to talk to a real movie star. Annie, I've talked to her for a million times. But you weren't important then. Annie! Hang on, Carrie. I'm talking to his wife now. <laughs> say goodbye. She'd like me to say goodbye now. Goodbye. I'd like another cup of coffee. Oh, sure, honey. No, honey. Ann Marsh says in the script. I'd like another cup of coffee. Oh, in the script? Yeah. Boy, honey, you are good. Oh, God. Boy. Now, I'd like another cup of coffee. You like another cup of coffee? I'd like another cup of coffee. Uh, don't tell me. Uh, yeah, uh, another cup of coffee. Clint, 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 Clint. You know, to be honest, you would feel a warm spring. I do would feel a warm spring. The same as you say. Say, I do. I feel it. I know it. I know it. So just put it in the words. So it's honest, it's pure, and it's good. And I'm running a cup of coffee. I got it. Give me the line. I'd like another cup of coffee. Waiter. <laughs> That's all right, you've got plenty of time. Hey, we were talking, we were talking about my toothbrush. We, what was it about my toothbrush? What we said? It's in your pocket. Oh, right, good, yeah. <laughs> Bye, honey. Goodbye, sweetie. Mm. Bye, Annie. Bye, Daddy. Oh, oh, I wish you were going with me. Oh, honey, you'll do great without yeah. me. Hey, you think you ought to darken the side room a little bit? <laughs> no, you look marvelous. It's only a test. You're not. You know we're waiting. You know something? <laughs> You're a great lady. <laughs> I wish I was doing the test with you. Oh, Daddy, it's for you. <laughs> oh, darn. Hello. Hello, Carrie. Goodbye, Carrie. <laughs> hey. Uh, oh, suitcase. Smith, that's right. Say, bye, honey. Waiter. Claire, that should about do it, Mr. Princeton. Princeton. Preston. Yeah. Well, it was my face. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. Could you do anything with, with the nose? Well, I've done the best I could with shading, and that's quite some nose. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Marsh. <laughs> hi, Bill. I just want to say a real quick hi to Dick. Hi, Bye. Oh, oh, I'll say no. I was, I was going to. Dick, how's it going? Uh, fine, fine, Bernie. Dick, this is Bob Swan. He directed all Ann Marsh's pictures. Hi, Dick. Well, hello, Mrs. Swan. Uh, I just want to take a look at you. And could you do anything about the... Uh... I've already done the best I could. It's fine, I'm fine. Uh, uh, Dick, do you have any questions about the scenes you're going to shoot today? Well, <clears throat> no, they seem pretty straightforward to me. I, I got them all learned. I'm ready to go. When, when do I get to uh, rehearse with Mr. Uh, March? Well, later on. Uh, oh. Look, Dick, uh, I want you to know that all we're trying to find out is how you look on film. Uh -huh. So just relax. Be yourself. Just take it nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy, yeah. right. Play it light and airy. Light and airy. Bill, can I talk to you for a minute? Well, I'm not a plastic surgeon. No, I did the best I could. <laughs> Seems, seems like a nice guy. Yeah. Great director, too. <laughs> Dick, look, look where we are. We got a maid, Dick. You just do good and we got a maid. Just be yourself. That's right. Study script. Don't listen. Study script. Boy, these walls could only talk. You know you're sitting in a foxhole? Right over there, they made back the Corregidor. <laughs> this whole studio is history. Everybody working. Olga, Cagney, Preston. We're ready for you now, Mr. Preston. Uh, now? Now. Well... Dick, I know I always say you're great all the time, but today I really mean it. <laughs> Dick, Dick, remember, they said they wanted light and airy, so if that's what they want, you give it to me. You, you look terrific. I don't know about that tie. No, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Did you pack another tie? No. No? It's all right, I like the tie. Wait, 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 wait a tie. It goes with the jacket. <laughs> Bernie, you're driving me nuts. <laughs> over here, please. Oh, oh, they, they, they want you over there. No, no, you. Me? You're in the way. Oh, they, over here. They need me. I, I'm, I'm in the way. <laughs> okay, Dick, uh, you ready for the scene? Yeah, I'm all set. When, when I did we rehearse with Miss, uh, Miss Marsh? Well, yes, you don't have to because this is just your entrance. Oh. Well, let me go over the scene with you. Now, uh, this is a flashback. 
to before you and Anne were married. Yeah. Now, you've come to Anne's house expecting the rental agent to be there. To be here. Yeah. You're in the market for a new house because a year ago your wife died. Oh. <laughs> So you've decided, you've decided to raise your two sons in, in a different atmosphere. In a different atmosphere, yeah. yeah. Now, the rental agent's delayed. Right. You walk in and discover Anne. She's the girl you were engaged to 20 years ago and haven't gotten out of your heart. Isn't that going to work out great? <laughs> now, you meet, and it's obvious she feels the same way about you. Same about me. Yeah. This is the only really tender moment in the script. Right. Now, it, it's most important that we establish this relationship. relationship. Do you mind if I watch? Just for luck. Just be nice and loose like you were when I was on your show. You're nice and loose, and yeah. break a leg. Break a leg? <laughs> uh, I want you to enter through the front door. Right. And I'll hold for a beat. Hold. So I can establish it. And come down the stairs into the middle of the living room, and then I'll cut. And then you'll cut. Do we rehearse this now? Uh, no, I don't think so. Do you still need the script? Eh? Oh, no. No. Let's show it. You ready, Dick? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll say it. Uh, just uh, stay behind the door until I give you the cue for your entrance. Let's go, Gene. Quiet, please. Roll them. Scene seven, take one. Big cut, cut. Uh, You've got to wait for your cue. Well, I, I thought that was my cue. No. <laughs> well, you see, in, in, in live television, it's a little different. Nobody says anything to you, you know, just point, and I do a commercial or whatever. Yeah, well, listen, the way we do it here is the, the assistant director says, roll them. Yeah. That's the camera cue. Right, right. Speed is the sound cue. Oh, when you said speed, I thought you meant come in quick. <laughs> I say action, that's your cue. All right, so then it's just roll them, uh, speed, action. That's it. Oh, I'll that's tell you what I'll do. After I say action, wait a beat, and then I'll call your name and you make your entrance, that'll make it easy. Well, thanks, you don't have to do that. That's, that, that's okay. okay. <laughs> just roll them, speed, action. Roll them, speed, action. All right, roll them, speed, action. All right, please. Roll them, speed, action. Roll them, speed, action. Roll them, speed, action. <laughs> Say, actually, I, I say, this lip valve is something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, how about this? You do the acting, I'll do the directing. How about that? Yeah, that's what you say. <laughs> yeah, I will. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on, action. Good. <laughs> oh, quiet, please. Roll them. Spoon. Now, Dick. <laughs> and natural. Just relax. Oh. And action. I'm sorry. I just, you know, I thought a guy coming in a strange place. I thought he would look around, you know. Yeah, well, that just, was hysterical. It was? Hysterical. Did Miss Marsh like it? Where'd she go? I think, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, let, let's forget about your entrance right. and pick it up after you've come down the stairs. Okay. Now, this is the point where Anne enters. Ah, uh, I know the point. Good okay. idea. Thank Good. you very much, Elton. Okay. Okay. Come right over here. Yeah. Uh, uh, you ready, Anne? Oh, uh, ready, yes. Gene? Quiet, please. Roll them. Speed. Action. Oh, hello. I didn't know anyone was there. I'm Peggy Bennett. Oh, well, Claire. You took your robe off. Come on! Surprise me too. Dick, Dick, uh, I'm sorry, but she she took a robot. Yeah, I know. Uh, Dick, from now on, from now on, try to have fun with it. You know? Yeah. Just relax. Be yourself. Your old life and airy self. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know, I, I can't get get into it. You know? He'll be fine. He'll be fine. We'll pay for any damages. <laughs> Dick, let's go on with the scene. Right. Now, now, you and Anne recognize each other and realize that the love you once had isn't lost. Yeah. Th there's an obvious spark between them. Yeah. It's the big love scene. Yeah, the love scene. Yeah. Anne, please. Let's do it while they're hot. Gene. Hey. Quiet, please. Roll them. Speed. And action. 
Oh, hello. I didn't know anybody was here. I'm Peggy Bennett. You must... Well, for heaven's sake, Clint Kane. Well, if it isn't little Miss Bennett. <laughs> is this uh, your room? Uh... Yes, this is my house. My... It's been so long. It's been years. Yes, it has, but you haven't changed a bit. You're still just as beautiful as ever. Oh, well, I just came in to fix a drink. I, I didn't know anybody was here. Oh, well, let me fix a drink for you. Well, everything's in the bar. <laughs> On the sweet side, right? A uh, martini, extra dry, the rock. Right. <laughs> and I'll have my usual scotch and soda, tall. Can't drink to me. Yes, you can. I know what happened. How do you know? Bernie called. Oh. Mm. Actually, he said some very nice things. What'd he say? He said you blew it. <laughs> Call that a nice thing? Yep. I mean, I didn't want to go to Hollywood. Honest? Honest. You know, neither did I. It's nicer here, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. <coughs> What'd Bernie tell you? Everything. Did he tell you I fell down the stairs when I made my entrance? <laughs> Did he tell you I got tongue-tied when I tried to do my lines? Yes. Did he tell you she chased me off the set with a chair? <laughs> Why did she do that? Well, you know that scene where I'm supposed to go waiter? Yeah. Well, I caught her right under there. <laughs> She said, get that stupid dick knock you off the stage. Oh, honey, I'm glad you're home. Oh, am I glad I'm home. <laughs> hey, give me that. I want to try something. Just stand up. Let's see. See, I can do that. You can do that anytime. <laughs> hey, honey. What? Did you have to kiss Ann Marsh? Well, you know, it was in the thing. Oh. Well, how does a big-time movie queen kiss? <laughs> well, uh, take your left hand and grab my right ear. <laughs> That's right. Now take your right hand and grab my left ear. <laughs> yeah. And now you pull as hard as you can. <laughs> you can be nuts! <laughs> Oh, hi, Pumpkin. Did you pass the screen test? Well, honey. Annie, your father was marvelous and everybody loved him. It's just that he decided not to be a movie star and leave Phoenix and take you out of school and complicate all our lives. You flunked, didn't you? <laughs> uh, that uh, about sums it up. You aren't disappointed, are you, Pumpkin? No, Daddy. We have got a great little girl. I thought she'd be so upset. Gee, that was easier than I thought. Hmm. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna tell Carrie? <laughs> Ann.
AMF. You know, that's quite a name. Look around here. So many different products, all with the same family name, AMF. Industrial products that have changed the way business lives. Pleasure products that have changed the way you live. Quality products and quality brand names. Yes, every product you're looking at is AMF, including this Ben Hogan golf ball. I wonder where that came from. Well, I played out of sand and I played out of water, but this is the first time I ever played through a store window. <laughs> Don't tell Agnew, huh? Well, as I was saying, it would be hard to find any other company anywhere that makes as many different products for your business and for your pleasure as AMF. What does it stand for? Quality. Quality products that have changed your life and the way you live it.